woman. I guess I'm just wondering. Oh, I got a better idea. Why don't you talk as the woman? I'll talk as the man. I guess I'm just wondering what your expectations are from a partner. Like in terms of expectations from women. Oh no, this is cringy as. F- <laughs> <laughs> I'll just read. All men, I don't know how you swing. And then the other person says, women, not men. And then the other person says, laugh out loud. Okay, then, yeah. What are your expectations from your girlfriend slash wife or slash whatever? Can I be honest? It might be seen as outdated or something. Ha <laughs> ha. The other person put, yeah, of course, this is a judgment-free zone. Are you putting this on the screen? Because then I can just read it without having to say the other person. Other person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just read it as normal. Okay. I still think I should do the voiceover. Honestly, I'm looking for a traditionally feminine woman. Someone who isn't going to mind being the child rearer and homemaker. Someone who is going to take care of her appearance and herself and just all around is content to be a female in our relationship. I know that's pretty anti-feminist or whatever, but it's just how I feel. Oh, Slay, I don't think that's anti-feminist or outdated at all. To be honest, that's pretty similar to what I want to, LOL. Uh, kind of just, kind of my dream, if I'm being honest. Really, I'd love to be able to focus on making my house a home, working on myself and just be taken care of without having to stress about expenses or money, lol. What do you mean? Just that I'd love a traditional man who's going to cover my expenses and make sure I'm getting what I want. (laughs) Someone who brings that kind of masculine energy. So you're looking for a guy who isn't going to mind buying you whatever you want and basically will just bankroll your whole life. I don't know if you put it like that. So you're basically a gold digger slash user, basically. Oh, let's just pause for one second here. Yeah, let's pause. He's just outlined what he wants, which would basically render the woman as the person that stays at home and reaps the benefits of his hard work at work, right? But then he's also calling her a gold digger. I mean, what what is she supposed to do exactly? You want a woman that is going to stay at home and look after the kids. Therefore, she's not going to be making any money, right? I'm assuming she's not going to be doing any work online. Like you want a traditional woman, so she's not going to have an OF. So where's her money coming from? You're going to have to provide for her. She doesn't have to dig any gold. You're going to give it to her. Yeah, it's, it's, it's this key word traditional that people throw around that they want, but then they don't actually like or want the full qualities that come with that. Yeah, I mean, if, I mean? if a woman stays at home to look after your children and you don't want her to work, then you need to look after her and you need to provide her certain things. It doesn't mean that like you buy a Lambo and she goes on holidays whenever she wants, but you have to provide her with food. You have to provide her with shelter. There's certain things that you're going to have to give her and she's going to make certain sacrifices to not go to work. You're going to have to accommodate. This person seems very immature and I just don't understand how you can literally just get your back up straight away and call her a gold digger just because she wants to be a stay-at-home wife after you said you want a traditional woman who's going to be a homemaker. So is she supposed to go work, make her own money and still come home and and be a homemaker on top of that? More like someone who will take care of our family financially so I can take care of him and his kids, etc. Fair. Fair. No, love my ass off, I promise. How is that any different from you wanting your girlfriend slash wife to take care of the kids, of the home and your kids? It feels kind of like double standard for you to call me a gold digger. Go on, girl. Tell him. Right, he said, it's not a double standard, it's different because the things that I'm looking for, in brackets, emotional, emotionally stable, takes care of herself, good with kids, are inherent, inherently female traits, good women naturally have that stuff, you're looking for some rich guy who can buy you stuff, that's not naturally part of being a guy, it's totally different. Oh, let's, let's, let's pause for a second. Yeah, he's chatting shit. This guy is chatting a whole bunch of waffle. You a want whole bunch. You want the wife. You want the white picket fence. You want the kids, probably the dog. And you want that all to run smoothly. So when you go to work, you can come home to your mill and your peace, right? And be of your family. Pick up from where your wife is <laughs> as she's basically been running around doing whatever, which is fine, you know. People want to live there. Like, I'm not against that at all. I like the idea of providing for women, but I'm not gonna sit there and and pretend like I am not bankrolling her you are bankrolling her she's not working that means she has no money how else is the is the house going to function where's the heating going to come from where's the electricity going to come from where's her food going to come from her clothes she's left her parents house to be with you to raise a family for you so you're going to give her money that's the arrangement 
if you want her to go to work, then you're going to have to hire a maid or a nanny or whatever. You can't have it both ways. She's not a gold digger. You're, sh- you're delusional. Yeah. It's just like, I think he's really just only looking at it from one lens and he's taking himself straight to the, the avenue of you're a gold digger and you just want to use me for, for money rather than looking at it as... She's not said about anything materialistic here. She said a guy that's going to be able to take care of me and provide for our family so I can look after his kids and make a home. So it's kind of like he's already looking at it from a negative standpoint and in the wrong way that she's not meaning it. Yeah, I think he just wants to attack her. If yeah. you read these messages back and you have a single brain cell, you would see what you're Yeah, he just say, sounds like he doesn't actually know what he's talking about or what he really wants. He's yeah. just saying stuff that he thinks sounds cool or what he wants, but it's I don't think he's actually understood what he wants. He just wants an opportunity to dunk on a woman. That's what it looks like. I mean, especially because of how expensive life is in general these days, you think I'm going to be able to afford a $500,000 house on one salary just so you can play dress up and not have to worry about a job. You expect to not contribute to the bills or cost of living. But you said that you want a traditional household. Traditionally speaking, women stay at home and men go to work. No one said anything about a $500,000 household. But you have to provide these things if you want a traditional wife. Otherwise, you don't want a traditional wife. Traditional, traditional women, they didn't have the opportunity to even go to work a lot of the time. They would stay at home and look after the kids. So what is it you want? Do you want a modern woman? In modern times, women work alongside men. Or do you want a traditional uh, marriage where the woman stays at home and looks after the kids? What, I don't understand. What do you think is going on here? Yeah, he's confused. He's, he's mad confused. Or he just doesn't like her and he's trying to find any route out because look at the next bit. He goes, fuck you. I knew there was something wrong with you. No wonder you tried to hum- humiliate me at the restaurant. I should have left right there and then. Right uh, then and there. Well, if, if she was trying to humiliate you at the restaurant and you clocked onto that, why the hell were you texting her? For what reason? If a girl humiliated me on a date at a restaurant, well, I'm not going to talk to her. And besides, in his earlier message, didn't he say he wants a woman to stay at home and like, look after herself and... Be the child Yeah, if bearer. I go back to the first thing, honestly, I'm looking for a traditionally feminine woman, someone who isn't going to mind being the child bearer and homemaker, someone who is going to take care of her appearance and herself and is just all round uh, content to be female in our relationship. And then so, you complain when she wants to do dress up. Yeah, he goes, I know that sounds, that's pretty anti-feminist or whatever, but that's just how I feel. But if it's anti-feminist, he needs to be with a feminist, someone who's going to be like, no, we're equal. Yeah. We're equal. Let me go to work, and you know, he's con- he's contradicted himself a hundred times here. He sounds mad. He just wants a girly girl, and someone who's not gonna. He wants to be a dominant man and control things, but he also wants her to help because he sounds fucking broke. You in your first message, it says that you want her to be at home and be a homemaker and look after the children. How is she supposed to make any money if she's not doing something online? We we all know what they'd be doing online, which would go against what traditional women do, right? You you have lost the plot, mate. I don't think you know what a traditional woman is. She put my guy, chill out. I never said I was looking for a rich guy or a five hundred K house or anything like that just that i want a guy who can take care of me especially if i'm raising his kids how can your dream woman be the homemaker and child if she's also working full time to pay the bills i have absolutely no issue with gender roles or divisions of labor in a relationship but you're not looking for a traditional woman you're looking for a maid and nanny who can also help pay your bills facts Mm -hmm. he said what the hell is that you're fine He said, fuck you again. Clearly doesn't know how to have a conversation and communicate. Fuck you. Just say you were only interested in me for my money. Next time you match with some sucker, tell him that up front so he doesn't waste his time with you. I'm telling you now, he just didn't like her. He didn't like her. He's using this as a way out Mm -hmm. because this is, you know. She put, I paid for last night, my dude. What do you mean interested in you for your money? Shut the fuck up, my... (laughs) My what? Kompsky degree is computer science. Oh, computer science. What did you say? (laughs) Kompsky degree is going to do way more for me than your business one ever will, bitch. (laughs) 
Now I know why you're getting a finance degree, probably so you can scout out the rich guys and try to steal their money. If you're going to curse me out and call me a gold digger because I want a traditional man, even though you want a traditional woman, something tells me you're not the type of guy I'm looking for. Lose my number, but I hope you have a good life. Hey, you up right now? Yeah, that was the last message at 1.22 in the morning. That was a couple of days later. The guy's insane. The guy is insane. A traditional woman means she stays at home and looks after the kids and makes the, and makes the, the house a home. She can't be on a salary if she's doing that for you as well. It doesn't He's make her broke. a gold digger. Yeah. This guy is broke. And delusional. You don't know what a traditional woman is. This was just an excuse to attack her. That's all it was. Yeah. You had no interest in being on a date. And if you genuinely did, I'd say you're stupid anyway because you said she humiliated you in the restaurant. So yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, and also she paid. So it just makes me think, What? Well, how come they were still texting after this date? Because it sounds like a shambles. It was absolutely shambolic. That was one of the funniest exchanges. I, well, I mean, it wasn't that funny. He sounded very aggressive. I feel sorry for the woman that ends up with him. Can you imagine? You marry this guy. He's like painted this whole story for you. I want to stay at home, look after the kids. Mm. He comes home. He walks in through the door and you're like, oh, yeah, I've made you dinner, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, turns around to you and goes, how was work? And you look at him like, what do you mean? No, I don't work. What do you mean you don't work? And he just gives you one. Where's your salary? Careful who you date, ladies.